What's up, Star Hunters? It's me, Orion Senshi. Sorry for the late upload. Things are hectic as usual. So, uh, this video has been a long time coming. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what Mutant to Masterminds is, a quick overview of the game system, what I think of it, my thoughts moving forward, and just uh, some real quick thoughts on what this game is for people who don't know what Mutant to Masterminds is. You ready? Let's go. What is Mutants and Masterminds? This is, video has been a long time coming because before I started doing all these Mutants and Masterminds videos, pretty much all my content was League of Legends related and a lot of my viewers are probably feeling a little bit confused as to what's this game you're getting into. So Mutants and Masterminds, I have uh, two of the rule books here, is a tabletop RPG very similar to Dungeons and Dragons except very different in its own way. For most people, they only know Dungeons and Dragons as the premier setting and game type for playing on a table with dice and character sheets. This is very different. Now, this is the third edition. The first edition did very much resemble Dungeons and Dragons, but since then it has changed drastically and I very much like the changes it's gone through. I did not play this game in the first or second edition. I have only recently found it uh, within the last few months and it has kind of just taken over my life. Um, so. I just wanted to share this with you. It's uh, a superhero RPG. Uh, it's touted as the world's best superhero RPG, where instead of watching a Marvel movie, you get to step into a Marvel movie. You can make any kind of hero character that you can ever imagine. Like, so far today, I was working on a Black Panther prototype for my next video, and a Mega Man-esque character for one of my players in the campaign that I'm starting tomorrow. You can literally make anything if you've look, taken a look at some of the other stuff i've made a spider-man character i have a variety of uh you know insanely powerful characters and sometimes you can make uh very powerful but somewhat badass normals um i worked on a character that was essentially a well-trained soldier who his only real powers were he had a suit of armor that gave him some protection and he had a variety of guns. He had a, a rifle, a shotgun, a combat knife, and I think uh, some grenades. And then, uh, but they were actual devices instead of just equipment. So they were custom. And he had a headset that gave him uh, some extra senses and that gave him uh, a, uh, some extra... Uh, dodge and parry because his sights would let him see things coming at him and he could deal with it more effectively and everything else was just a lot of skills and advantages you can make anything that you want with this and that's one of the reasons why i'm so intrigued with it now the combat system is very different uh, as explored in my toughness video uh, which I'm going to be reshooting and re-uploading or uploading a new version of very shortly because I want to make sure I have all of my numbers correct. I want my videos to be a great reference for new players. Uh, the As I said in the toughness video, instead of you rolling damage, your target rolls toughness. They roll against the damage that you are hitting them with, which uh, can be very, very intense as far as gameplay goes. So there's that, and the status conditions are very different, and everything has ranks. It, in that way, it is a bit reminiscent of D&D uh, 3.5 for people who've played D&D 3.5. Now, there are a variety of other role-playing games besides Dungeons & Dragons. There's a huge plethora of them, and uh, some people have said, you know, what about Champions? Well, I have never touched Champions. I have heard that Champions is roughly five times more complicated than uh, Mutants and Masterminds and that it is another point-based RPG. And if that's your thing, go for it. I don't think I can handle it. I feel like my brain would completely explode. With that in mind, this has just been a really short video on what is Mutants and Masterminds. It's a tabletop RPG. The world's greatest superhero RPG. It's a blast to play and you can kind of get lost in character creation. You can min-max as much or as little as you want and a lot of times as long as you're hitting the power level limits or near the power level limits, you should end up with a pretty effective character. Uh, it is possible to be 
up at amazing heights. The modifiers you're adding in are going to be a lot higher than the modifiers you'd normally add in for a D&D game. Which means that you, what happens, the outcome of a game, are normally decided more by your decisions as a hero than they are decided by the randomness of the dice roll. Which is one of the main themes of this game, is it's all about your decisions. Which I thoroughly enjoy. Now, at lower power levels, dice roll does play a really big part of it. Uh, and so then, you know, there's that. Uh, some people have said that they've tried making a power level like two or three campaigns that are kind of on par with what you'd expect from like a D&D game. Um, I've never done that myself. It sounds exciting. I might do it at some point in the future. Uh, and so there's that. Um, and there's all different kinds of situations that you go through with doing things. Be there's the regular combat there is the role play, and then there's this cool, this cool thing of challenges in which you got the characters all have to work together to come up with things, and it can be very dynamic and exciting. Um, and it's it does involve a bit of dice rolling, but it usually involves a lot of descriptors. You can describe anything any way in this game, which is really fun. There's not like limitations on, you know, this ability has to be a light based ability. This ability has to be a fire-based ability. Anything can be whatever you need it to be or you want it to be. You generally sit down with your DM and say, I want this to be a fire attack. And your GM will decide whether that is suitable for your character, for your character's design, and if that's going to make your power super broken. Um, if they decide that being a fire-based attack in their world will, you know, if you're on a plant-based world, where generating fire is hard, uh, he might decide that your power has to cost a little bit more because it's harder for you to generate fire and it would give you a huge advantage. That is up to GM discretion. Uh, my big suggestion with this game is talk to your GMs. That is a really big thing to stay in communication with your GM. Uh, for those of you who don't know, GM is Game Master. It's kind of a more generic term as opposed to Dungeon Master, which feels almost exclusive to Dungeons & Dragons, but in the wider game world that don't always involve dungeons, um, it's generally referred to as a GM. So yeah, this has been a really quick primer of what is Mutants and Masterminds. Uh, like, comment, subscribe for even more awesomeness. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you. I'm going to be starting a new campaign with my friends at my local game store tomorrow which is going to be awesome i'm doing a lot of stuff i'll have probably a video describing my setting uh coming up later on this week as well as a character build video which i'm still working on is going to be a black panther gotta nail that down a little bit i have a prototype but he just feels just doesn't quite nail it doesn't have enough int intellect just doesn't feel t'challa so we will see where that goes from here. Remember, shoot for the stars, have wonderful adventures, live your dreams, and always, always, always keep enjoying your memes. Have a good one, everybody. Uh -huh.